thanks so much for joining me for today's video. I'm Lauren and I go by Thrift Goddess on Poshmark and Instagram and I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark Canada. In my videos I talk about thrifting, selling on Poshmark and I also do some DIY so if you like that kind of content make sure to click the subscribe button, turn it from red to grey and give this video a thumbs up if you like it at the end. So this video I'm going to be showing you my thrift finds from my first time back thrifting. So thrift stores have been closed for about about three to four months now and they're just starting to reopen up now so I actually went to the one thrift store in my hometown it's a really small family owned one so none of the big corporate ones but I just had to go back because you know I was going through a withdrawal I was like I need to go thrifting it's it is a real problem so I was biking to the post office the one day to drop off my packages and I rode by and I saw that they were open so I popped in and my mentality I was like Okay, I only have one bag, I'm on my bike, I can't buy a lot, but I live like a few minutes away, so I ended up with three bags, and I asked the lady if I could just come back and pick it up, because I was not going to be able to carry it all on my bike, and she said yeah, and I ended up bringing her back some donations, so it worked out that way. So when I got into the store, there was no one else there, but they had a sign on the door, and it said only five people in at a time, you must sanitize upon entry, and they had a little bucket of plastic gloves to wear. So I did all that, and I had the gloves on, I was doing shopping, and my hands were just getting so sweaty. And then I noticed two other ladies walked in, and they were doing shopping, and they weren't wearing the gloves, so I was like, I took mine off. Because it was just getting in the way of being able to shop properly, you know? And so yeah. I also know that um, the Goodwill stores are already open now, and I think Value Village is soon to follow. I think, actually tomorrow maybe, they might be opening. So, eventually I'm going to be going back and shopping there, but right now I just want to focus on what I already have, because I am overflowing with inventory. I have so many donations from generous people in the community. I have so many donations from the generous people in the community, so I've been selling a lot of that, so once I get that organized and I have room for more, then yeah, I'm definitely going to go out to Value Village and spend lots of money. So with my haul today, I bought, don't know how many items, but I spent $130 and I actually bought a few things for me and I'll, I'll model them after and show you. Actually one of them is this jumpsuit and it, it's so... Mm. Okay, I'm gonna rewatch that because I don't know. It felt like I just knocked a leaf off, and I don't know if I did, but yeah, this guy's been suffering. I don't know what's wrong. Maybe it was this one. But yeah, he's been losing a lot of leaves every day. And I don't know what's wrong, but hopefully he comes back to life. He might just be oversaturated with leaves because he used to be really full. But he lost all the ones at the bottom, so I hope he's going to be able to survive. So anyways, what, what was I saying? I did like, I was like, I bought this jumpsuit. Yeah, I think that's what I said. Yeah, I'll stand up and show you after. It's really comfy, really great for summer. And yeah, so let's get started. So the first section that I looked in when I went to this thrift store was the bags and the shoes, as usual. That's always my go-to place to look when I go into Value Village and other stores because I love selling shoes and bags. So, and as I was going through the shoes, I'm just like looking at stuff, looking at comps. I had my phone handy, thankfully. And... These other two ladies were shopping behind me at this other rack, like a couple racks over, and I hear the one lady say, oh, Coco Chanel, that's expensive, and I'm like, like I like stop breathing for a sec, I'm like, what? Because that's like, those are the words that you don't want to hear as a reseller, is someone else picking up a brand that you know will sell. This actually happened to me recently. I was at the bins and this lady picked up a piece and she showed it to her friend and was like, oh look, Lululemon. And I felt my heart skip a beat because I hadn't found any Lululemon that day. But then she ended up throwing it back. So as soon as she moved away, I went and grabbed it. So I'm just like, oh my gosh. So I kind of like low key tried to see what she was doing with it. I couldn't see what the piece was, but she took it in the change room. So I just like spent longer at the shoe section 
like trying to like wait until she comes out to see if she's gonna put it back. Sure enough, she did, and I didn't go over right away. I didn't want to make it obvious that I was like waiting for her to be done with it. So I waited till they were like on the other side of the store, and then I just like casually went over and start like flipping through, and then I get to the piece, and I'm like, it's a fake. <laughs> but like, I swear, my heart was racing for a little bit, and I'll, I'll post a picture because I had to take a picture. I was like, this is horrible. But yeah, it was it was funny. So, all right. First item that I picked up, so yeah, $130 for all this, and what the lady at the thrift store does, which I appreciate that she does this, but it makes it a little bit harder for me when I'm doing my inventory report to keep track of what I paid, what my cost of goods was. So what she does is she cuts off the price tags and she reuses them, and I'm like, yeah, that's great, great reusing for the environment, but now, now I know that every time I go to that store, I'm going to have to take pictures of the price tags of each item so I actually can remember how much I paid for them. So this, let me just fix this bow here. Oh, I just made it worse. This is absolutely stunning. So this is a strapless dress and it's by RW & Co. It's got like this silky satin material. It's got a zipper on the back. And a nice little bow. Very cute, very cute. And like the prices at this thrift store are like are pretty decent. Like it's a it's a family owned business, like I said, so they're just looking to, you know, get a couple bucks for the donations. So these guys, I'd never heard of this brand before. And I Googled it and it runs between like I think three hundred to two thousand dollars. So comps were looking pretty good, so I gave these guys a shot. So these are Roger Vivier Paris, and they're patent leather flats. They do have some wear on the bottom and some scuffs, but I'm going to try and work my magic to fix those. Next up we have, oh, these are actually tied together with a piece of string. Didn't notice that before. These are a brand called Echo. And I did some research on these as well, as I always do, and they look pretty good too. And this, it feels like suede, so it might be, I'm not really sure. And leather on the inside. Now that I'm looking, I don't actually see a size on these guys. Here on the bottom. Oh yeah, there's a size. Size 38. So yep, cute little sandals. Next, these are a pair of, they kind of feel like suede, but they might not be, and the brand is, I don't know how to pronounce this, so forgive me if I say it wrong, Fjord, it's F-J-O-R-D, and so I tried googling this, and I'll show you what happened every time I did, it just kept like not going where I wanted it to. But the So I went into Google and tried typing in the brand and clothing and it just took off the second word and then I tried it with brand and it did the exact same thing so it wasn't working for me. These are like brand new condition on the bottom. Next up is a pair. These are another brand that I hadn't heard of before and I looked it up and they are by Bill Blass and they are some leather flats, leather loafer style. And these, the comps were pretty well on these too, so I picked them up. Next, I'm sure you're familiar with this brand. It's called Geox, and they are patent leather, red flats, really cute, really good condition as well. Now that I'm looking at them, I can actually tell that they were from Winners because they have part of, like you know, the circle, the circle peel-off tag that Winners has. So there's. So that's still stuck on them. Then I picked up this Victoria's Secret cooler bag. And Victoria's Secret bags actually do fairly well. I looked up comps for this bag and they run between $25 to $65. And in the sides it has gold insulation so you can put your wine in there, go for a beach day, have a good old time. And next I have this gorgeous pink pashmina scarf. And where is the tag? So yeah, 70% pashmina, 30% silk. And it has this um, G, 
kind of looks like a G. This circle, you know what, it actually kind of looks like an on, like the on button, you know, the circle with the line through it. Pattern on it, it's really pretty, good condition as well. So this was a surprise, so this one had a tag for I think five dollars, and I brought it up to the front, and she's like, oh that's a dollar, and I'm like, what? And she's like, yeah, that whole rack over there is a dollar, and I'm like, shut the front door. It's a Michael Kors blazer. And I have not sold Michael Kors blazers before, but I have sold some of their clothes. Usually they take a while to sell, but when they do, they, they do pretty decent. So I'm like, for a dollar, you can't really go wrong, right? Next I have this. This is really gorgeous. I don't think it's branded. It's not, but it's like this vintage kind of, kind of looks like seashells, but it's plastic. Pattern. It's a little evening bag. Oh, it even go. Oh, look, it goes perfect with my jumpsuit. It's adorable. And she left the tag on this one, so I don't have to worry about that one. And what's in here? Next, I have these. These are a Catherine Melandrio. What are they? They hit. Yeah, knee high boots super high, knee-high boots, and they're really cute. They have this pearl detail on the bottom, and I actually realized that the pearls spin. And I looked up comps for these, and it looked really good as well. I'm always open to picking up new brands to give new things a try. And the last thing I got for Poshmark is this pair of Guess sneakers. They have kind of this rose gold on the back and they have gold sparkles on them. I normally don't pick up guests that much because it's been hit or miss for me, but I thought these were really cute and someone else is going to think they're cute. And I need to wash the bottoms obviously, but I can make them look spick and span. As you saw in the video, I have this absolutely stunning jumpsuit. It has pockets, which is amazing. I love the pattern of it. It's super comfy and it's going to be perfect for summer this year. I have absolutely been living in this dress. It is so comfy. It has this really cute detailing on the side. It's from Jo Fresh and it's really lightweight as well for summer and I just find it so cute. And speaking of cute, next up we have these adorable shorts from Lily Morgan. I actually thought it was a skirt when I first found it, but it is in fact shorts, and again, perfect for summer. I'm absolutely obsessed with these. They are such nice material. They almost feel like they could be Lululemon. They're very lightweight and compare with anything. And last we have this pair of pants. They're kind of the same material as the shorts I just showed you. Kind of like a trouser style, really cute, really lightweight as well. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. So we'll see you next time. Bye.